Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Today, the world's technological landscape is constantly changing. At this time, certain fields in China have begun to develop by leaps and bounds. We would like to thank the United States for its sanctions in 2019. If Huawei is not included in the suppression list, I believe that China's semiconductor industry will not make progress in the short term. Although Huawei has survived these crises, the United States is still determined to completely eliminate Huawei. Not only Huawei, but also Ren Zhengfei, the leader of Huawei, has also been sanctioned by the United States. As a giant in the world's semiconductor field, Huawei has unquestionable strength. At this time, Huawei is leading the rapid rise of China's semiconductor industry. Today we found a question, is the world losing Huawei, or Huawei losing the world, which side has the greater loss? Over the years, in order to seize the opportunities in the field of science and technology, the United States has begun to vigorously cultivate scientific and technological talents, and then it has introduced a large number of policies to attract foreign scientists to its own country. At this time, the United States took the lead in the field of science and technology and established its position as a technological hegemon. At this time, Huawei's rapid rise also completely threatened certain positions of the United States. No matter what the reason is, the US sanctions against Huawei this time are undoubtedly a fatal blow. It was also during this period of time that the Chinese semiconductor industry clearly realized that Huawei has a very important position in the world. At this time, neither the structure of the world semiconductor industry nor Huawei can get rid of the political interference of certain countries. One country in the world has understood the convenience brought by some technologies to its own development, and then the whole world began to jointly promote the development of the global semiconductor economy. Only in the environment of fair competition can major enterprises realize the trend of global technological integration in a true sense. We also believe that this storm of sanctions by the United States will subside in the near future. In fact, when Huawei's 5G network just appeared in the public eye, Huawei has already become the leader of the times. After all, the future society belongs to the intelligent era, and 5G network plays a very important role in the intelligent era. It happened at this time that the United States promulgated the CHIP Act, which changed the pattern of the world's semiconductor industry and brought Huawei's development into an unprecedented crisis. At this time, Chinese semiconductor companies did not give up because of this. Although they experienced various sanctions, they still took root in the U.S. market. Prior to this, the United States dismantled all Chinese-made equipment on the mainland on the grounds of security. In fact, certain actions of the United States fully demonstrated the situation he is now facing. Since the beginning of this year, major companies in the United States have heard news of layoffs. The reason for the layoffs is very simple, because their own profits are threatened. In order to reduce the expenditure of enterprises, they had to lay off a large number of employees. What the United States did not expect was that after he restricted Huawei's development, it would cause such a large loss to its own business. At the moment when the United States just promulgated the chip bill, Ren Zhengfei had already judged the future trend, and then he spent a lot of money on research 
and development in the semiconductor field. Now under the leadership of Huawei, China has achieved rapid development in the semiconductor industry. At this time, Huawei will no longer face the situation of chip bottlenecks. As China has received good news one after another in the semiconductor field, we will find that the US sanctions on Huawei have not had any substantial effect, but the US has not given up because of this. From some international news, we can see that the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands have formed a triple alliance, thereby intensifying the blow to China's semiconductor industry. The United States is full of confidence and believes that although China has developed a new type of chip, it does not have a lithography machine for making chips, which is also a headache for China. However, some of China's actions once again slap the United States in the face, because at this time, the chips developed by China can already bypass the blockade of lithography machines, and the chip functions have reached the international level. At this time, we will find that Huawei is not only important to the Chinese region, but also shows its presence in many regions of the world. In fact, Certain practices of the United States in the past not only did not bring Huawei into a catastrophe, but put itself in trouble. Now that Huawei has begun to diversify its layout, I believe that in the future we will see Huawei in various fields. At this time, Huawei should not be complacent about it. After all, the ambition of the Americans lies there. Although Huawei has the ability to change the world pattern, Huawei must also improve its own technological strength and lead China's semiconductor industry to the pinnacle of the world. No matter how the world imposes sanctions on China in the future, China will not be in crisis because of this. At this time, the relevant departments of the country should also pay attention to the cultivation of talents. Only by injecting fresh blood into those enterprises can they continue to achieve results in research and development. Now people in the world have seen that the lion sleeping in the east has begun to wake up quickly. When the lion stands up again, it will also mark that China has become the most developed country in the world. Thank you for your watching. You can put your ideas in the comment.